Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. Hold on, let me fix my lashes a little bit. Um, I'm going to be doing a updated question and answer. I am sorry for all my YouTube subscribers that I did not put this poll up. I only put this poll up on Instagram. I will definitely try and remember to put up a poll next time on YouTube. If you guys want me to do another video, if you have more questions, uh, just comment below to put another poll up. You guys want to see another Q&A. But uh, <clears throat> this time I completely forgot. So I got a pretty decent amount of questions. Some of these questions are very personal and I'm not going to answer them. Uh, however, you guys got a lot of questions about astrology. Um, I, if you guys don't know this, I do not know much about astrology. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the first ones. Will 2022 be any better than the last few years? Thanks, baby. Okay, 2022, the energy that I'm getting for this year is people are going to be really working hard. I'm getting a lot of energy around work. People are going to be damn near slaving themselves for work this year. Uh, that's the biggest energy shift I'm getting. I feel like 2021 was a big year of change. 2020 that was a whole fiasco and my guides told me that that year was going to be a fiasco they didn't tell me what was going to happen but i knew that was not going to be the easiest year <laughs> um so, okay so yeah the energy i get for 2022 is people are going to really be working hard um there's going to be a lot of cleanup of the mess that we're in and you know because of covid i'm not just speaking about the united states i'm talking about all over the all over the globe <laughs> There was a big, very, there was a very big mess made because of COVID. Um, I just get a lot of working energy, people working. Um, a lot of work to be done energy. Um, yeah, if I would be lying if I told you that this year I felt like was going to be the golden year. It just seems like, especially for the United States, we're going to be cleaning up a very, very big financial mess. So, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting for 2022. Okay, um, when did you first realize you had psychic abilities? This is a, This question, I feel like, is kind of like an interesting question because I feel like my parents... Um, they never, like, told me much about, like, anything. <laughs> my dad used to see spirits all the time in his house in Peru. Um, my whole family, like, over there, they're all mediums, they're all psychics. Uh, you know, I, I feel like, if anything, I'm the most inexperienced <laughs> because they, like, they'll see spirits and they don't get scared. They just carry on with their life. Um... But yeah, I didn't know there was like a name for it. I didn't really think that like witches were real. Like I thought that that was just like TV stuff. You know, I didn't think any of this shit was really like it actually existed. <laughs> um, I think one of my mom's friend was like a Wiccan. And I think that's how that's how like I found out that people like actually did witchcraft. But then again, didn't really think much of it. Like just thought it was kind of some mumbo jumbo stuff you know so uh psychic abilities I feel like I've known since I was maybe 14 because I was going through a lot of shit with spirits back when I was like maybe 15 I want to say um yeah I want to say like 15 that's when I was like really dealing with some heavy shit and uh, I had to get myself out of that stuff. I didn't have, you know, somebody do a cleanse on me. I had to get myself out of that. Um, then again, I just, like I said, still didn't believe in any of this stuff. Okay. Somebody asked, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, can you cast spells like Doctor Strange? I don't know who that is. Uh, I recently have been watching Cable, so I don't, I, before this, like, I really never watched TV or anything. 
Um, how was Cabo with the COVID protocols? I was supposed to go there next week, but might, might not. So Cabo, I did not stay at a resort. I stayed at a private villa. Um, we got the, we hired, a like a nurse to come in and give us COVID tests. I don't remember having to wear a mask. That's bad. I don't remember anything really. I don't think it was very strict, but then again, like I wasn't at a resort. I wasn't like around that many people other than like going out twice or a few times like out of the resort. I mean, out of the, what do they call it? Like the complex or I don't know what, like where all the villas were. I don't know. Um, I didn't, I don't think it was that bad, but then again, I feel like right when I got back from Cabo is when COVID really like <laughs> reinvented itself and really came back really hard. I got back, well, after I was in Cabo, I went to California and yeah, when I got back, it was just a complete mess and I got sick like the week after, but yeah, I feel like it was fine. I don't think Mexico is that bad. The flight was not that bad. Getting through customs, not that bad. You know, this was me. I didn't have TSA pre-check. I, I still have to go. I canceled my appointment so many times. But like I said, all in all, just not, not that bad. What is your main focus in 2022? Um, working. Definitely like working making more things happen. I'm working on like doing oils kind of thing for the Venus Conjure page. So just working, trying to set my foundation with the business. Um, um, I don't really have any other focuses. As boring as that must, must, must sound, uh, I am very blessed. I don't really have anything else that I need to focus on that I know of right now. What are your thoughts on Mateus Di Stefano? Let me see. I've heard of this person before. Uh, very much like uh, alien, um, he has come, he wants to talk to me, uh, alien, he has come here, I think, because he, I feel like he was a king in a past life, uh, right now, he, I could tell he's a queen, <laughs> um, so, I'm just getting a lot of alien royalty energy from him, I know he has a TV show on the Gaia app, so I think he's interesting. What do you like to do more, psychic readings or rituals? Okay, so I like to do psychic readings more. I love giving you guys the insight to help you change your life and change your reality. And you know, that's what I live for. I love to help people. Um, <clears throat> the rituals, yes. I love doing those too. I love seeing your results after you guys do the cleanse and, you know, when you and your man get back together and all that stuff and when you guys make money, that makes me happy too. But I like talking to you guys more, I would say. Um, you know, like, I feel like when you work from home, you don't get, like, a lot of interaction. Uh, I feel like I really only speak to my family, my, my partner, or... Um, like his family so I, I kind of like doing the readings because I get to talk to you guys and we get to just um, like I help you guys see what's going on and we make a plan to make your life better that that's what I like I, I feel like that's what I started doing this business almost three years ago for and that's like what has my heart in this business is the psychic readings and uh, the Reiki. I love doing Reiki on you guys. I love it. Um, but I would say psychic readings, number one, hands down, uh, favorite part of this business. I love conjuring for you guys, but the readings. Okay. 
what other questions? Your big three zodiac signs. I feel like I probably should not give this out. <laughs> um, I have a lot of water in my chart. I will say that. I'm to, despite what everybody thinks, <laughs> I am not a Scorpio. A lot of people think I'm a Scorpio. I'm not. Um, and I don't necessarily like, I, I get astrology and everything, but it kind of seems like very confusing and I don't really like things that are very confusing. I like things that I get like instantly. I don't like things that are confusing. So with that, I'm going to end this q and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to do another q and A, please comment below and I will hold another poll on YouTube so my YouTube subscribers can ask me things. But other than that, I think we we're doing good on time. I didn't want to make this more than 10 minutes. So anyways, let me know if you guys want another Q&A. I have to get working on the predictions that have come true. Uh, there ain't no telling when I'm going to get that done. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And if you want to book a reading, ritual, or anything else, everything is in the description. All right, guys. Bye.